Listen to that. The waiting time is almost over, and the crowd is going nuts down here in Miami. This is a Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Maxwell Rudder. I am the senior race official here at the Miami Global Innovation Race. The race is now officially over, and it's time to hand out the trophy to the winner. This year's winner proved that hard work and dedicated focus on... So, I'm gonna run over and play around with the pyrotechnics for the podium ceremony. What? With flawless technological execution and persistently excellent driving, this year's winner is on the right giving a fan's favorite, Mr. Moses. I have no idea. Cowboys having a big hand. I mean, I get cravings when I don't come down here to eat once or twice per week. At one point, when I work near here, I ate lunch here every day. But Robert Knox? He's like a big shot billionaire. It's true. I was standing in line behind him yesterday. He talked about how he loves this place to death. It seems Robert Knox paid several visits to a Bayside area food stand yesterday. The vendor, known as Florida Man, sells extremely addictive food, so we should expect Knox to return. Maybe this is a way to catch Knox away from his office. Oh, hey, mister. How's it going? Good show, 47. Now stick around. Once the word spreads, Knox won't be long.
Pardon me. Can I offer you a little treat? Huh? Much appreciated. My pleasure. Forty-seven, Robert Knox is on the move. If I'm not mistaken, he's heading down to the Bayside food stand selling coconut balls. Smell alone is enough to trigger a massive rush of dopamine. I don't know what he's putting in his food, but I've sure got the munchies. Hi there. Care for a taste? So, what's good? Everything's to die for, Mr. Knox. Excellent. Maybe one of these. Mmm, that was superb, my good man. I'll be back for more in a little... <sighs> <sighs> Targets down. Well done, 47. Head for an exit, and we'll speak again soon. I may only be a tech reporter, but I have ambitions too, you know. The fact is that Ron's dad is and now we are axing our own? Knox was a traitor. He would have caused incalculable damage. And he won't be the last. 
This is exactly what the enemy wants. We need to fight the sickness, not the symptom. And I have just the tool for the job. Right. The Burnwood woman. Eric Soders warned you about her, didn't he? The Crusader. I can handle Miss Burnwood. Everyone hates power until you offer them some. And you ought to know. ICA speaks the enemy's language. We need them. And once we don't... <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Fact remains, we are shadowboxing. We need to know who we are up against. I was getting to that. His name is Lucas Gray, the late Mr. Cobb's head of security. Cobb was ground zero, first of our operatives to die. It had to be one of his staff, someone with military training and access to the plane. Yeah, grasping at straws. Gray is a mercenary, a veteran of every backwater tragedy you've ever ignored on the five o'clock news. Chechnya, Sierra Leone, the list goes on, but before 89, nothing. No records of any kind. Now, oh, come on. CIA, KGB, plenty of spies went dark. After the curtain was lifted, I cast a very wide net. Lucas Gray simply does not exist. <clears throat> if you're all quite done wetting yourselves with excitement, I couldn't give two shits where he came from. I only want to know one thing. How does he know about us? I swear to God, this hearts and flowers crap will get us both killed. Can't you see? Your so-called friend is working for them now. He's not the man you knew. This is his fight too, Olivia. Even if he doesn't realize it. Like it or not, 47 is our last and only lead on the partners. He needs to remember. He's coming for us. And unlike you, he won't hesitate. Just get me inside. Rico, I need a favor. <laughs> 